again. What up Martians? Welcome back to Mars Daily, your daily dose of photo and video and a little more about science. Yep, today nandito kami ngayon sa may um nakita niyo naman World Trade Center dito sa Manila and we are going to explore ang isa sa mga importanteng event ng DOST or ng Department of Science and Technology ang kanilang National Science and Technology Week. Yan. So, mamaya ha? Pinipilit ni John na hindi daw National Science and Technology Week weekend ng gusto niya. Pero whatever works is fine. Mamaya papasok tayo sa loob at itutur ko kayo kung ano bang meron dun sa loob ng event na yun. It's basically, for now ha, sa pagkakakita ko, it's a comic con for all those science enthusiasts. Yung mga may pangarap sa field ng science. So, yun. Okay ba yun mga Martians? <laughs> Gusto niyo pa yun na Martians ang tawag sa inyo? Bakit dito ko pa ibe-breakdown itong, itong tawagan natin na to? Siguro sa next vlog pag-usapan natin kung okay ba sa inyo na yun ang itatawag sa inyo bilang subscribers ko mga Martians. Wow. Ang sagwa naman kung Mars, ba diba? Mga Mars. Kaya Martians tayo. Yun ang tawag natin sa team, sa tropa, sa... Wait lang ha, nagdadaldal kasi yung tropa ko. Ano yan? Mag-sip naman kayo mga Martians para sa Santana. <laughs> Actually, wala akong paka na sa Martians na yun siya nagsabi sa akin na try ko daw kayong tawaging Martians. Gusto, mo, gusto nyo ba yun? Gusto nyo ba yun guys? Pero so far, um, our today's mission is ipakita sa inyo kung anong meron sa special event ng DOST ngayon. Let's go ahead inside and explore what is waiting for us. Let's go! Okay, so baka masya kayo guys ha, ang gagawin muna natin, tour natin yung lugar kasi baka maging sabog-sabog tong vlog na to so para maging organized yung vlog ikotin natin yung lugar, tapos saka tayo magdaldal kung ano yung mga, mga dapat yung maintindihan dito sa dito, sa pangyayari nito Let's go! Coming home from the event, let's get serious. There were eight clusters, one to which showcases our progress in the field of science dedicated to our country. There's a lot to cover, but let me sum it up for you. Once I entered the convention, my mind was literally blown by the advancements that were made, especially to our very own agriculture, to which our country mostly catered. From students, teachers, professors, professionals, all of them came just to see what's new with our science here in the Philippines. Personally, I think we're doing good. And this event specifically will help everyone, especially, you know, the younger ones, aware of what's new with our advancements here in the Philippines. Not just technological advances, but specifically, everything is focused here in our country. Para sa akin, sa lahat ng nakita ko dun sa convention na yun, 
isa siyang eye opener kasi hindi ko na expect na meron na palang advancements pagdating sa agriculture meron pala tayong mga satellite meron rin pala tayong mga you know besides the physics chemistry all of that crazy stuff meron din pala mga projects na focus specifically to develop our own country i just don't know why hindi pa siya gaano na ilalabas sa public but if you're watching this i hope you'll have the chance someday to visit the event and see it out for yourselves kasi sobrang sobrang worth it pumunta. Hindi, hindi ko yun expect na we have our very own satellite. All I know is, real talk, to be honest, with all honesty, ang pagkakaalam ko, nakikisatellite lang tayo. Pero, that really caught my attention na meron pa lang satellite ang Pilipinas. May sarili pa lang tayong satellite. I don't know if I'm outdated as a youngster or a teenager. I'm no longer a teenager, of course. Pero, sobrang, sobrang... Sobrang... It's also a good thing na nakapag-interview tayo ng mga tao. Ano nga ba ang main goal or importance ng National Science and Technology Week? And here are the answers. NECW is very important kasi ito yung uh, ginagamit namin sa DOST as a platform, as an avenue where we can share yung science talaga sa napakaraming tao dito sa Pilipinas. Kasi napakaraming breakthrough sa science, sa research, iba't iba, sa agriculture. Dito sa amin, agriculture, aquatic sector, sa textile, sa forest products, sa iba't ibang machines, sa iba't ibang innovations, napakarami. Napakaraming researches na nasasayang kung hindi na may ko-communicate sa mga tao. So the National Science Technology Week celebration that is happening every year is important because in this celebration, uh, the DOST or the different DOST agencies will be able to uh, showcase the different technologies that they support. Like for example, here in our uh, in our exhibit, the FNRI or the Food and Nutrition Research Institute was able to feature the different food products and the PCHR here, the Philippine Council for Health Research and Development, was also able to, to showcase uh, different biomedical devices that has been supported by the agency. Uh, NSCW is important, lalo na para sa amin na nag-work sa ganitong line ng research kasi uh, radiation in particular, ionizing radiation is uh, it, it has certain uh, fear, no? Nag-induce siya ng fear sa ating mga Pilipino kasi hindi natin siya na-understand ng maigi. So, itong mga ganitong events such as NSW gives us an opportunity para ma-relay sa public kung ano yung proper use ng radiation and kung paano ma may iwasan yung hazardous effects niya. Well, NSW is very important para so that there will be more people, no? there will be more people that will know what we are doing in the area of science and technology. And we have a lot of uh, bright ideas, a lot, a lot of very good inventions and research work that uh, our people should be able to know because uh, at the end of the day, these are all really for the people. Importante na malaman nila, makita nila na marami tayo ginagawa at uh, marami opportunities and uh, possibilities for uh, the Filipino people. At lastly, para sa akin, on my own perspective, uh, bukod sa pumunta ko sa convention na yun, hindi lang siya eye-opener. Personally, I would take it out as an eye-opener. Kasi may mga tao rin palang dinededicate nila yung sarili nila in the field of science. Just like, you know, other artists na talagang binibigay yung, yung full effort, yung full force it's like becoming a vlogger, it's like becoming an artist, a musician. It really takes time to mold a dream. It's actually passion that will keep you going, not coping up with the standards of society. Hindi yung susundin mo ano gusto ng mga tao, susundin mo ano yung nararapat, kung ano magpapayaman sa iyo sa madaling paraan. It's not about that. It's about working hard for your own dream because that's life. I hope this makes sense because, you know, I know there's a lot of people being discouraged about their dream. I mean, at the down, at the depressed. Pero sinasabi ko sa'yo, ano man yung makaharap mo, pursue mo. I, I give this vlog dedicated to all the students na pumunta sa event. Huwag kayong matakot i-pursue yung dream nyo kahit ano pa yan. At syempre, kung out of this world ka, huwag mo na rin kalimutan mag-like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ako nga pala si Marco Mars. At nga pala, um, comment down below kung gusto mo na... Martians and Taugus, you know, it's something new, so peace out.